Now there are two sides to every story, right? So there are good things about supplements and there are things that are not quite so good about supplements. So now I wanna talk about three reasons why people don't like them. And the first reason is that even though that cost is budgetable, it does go up yearly. Now it's not gonna go up based on your claims, but it goes up based on the claims history of everybody in that plan, in that state with that company. And so it is gonna go up a little bit each year. Now I want you to watch, if you do go with a supplement, make sure that they don't increase based on your age as well. The second reason that people don't always like Medicare supplements is because that everything is separate. It is great at covering your medical costs, but if you want prescription coverage, it's a whole separate Part D plan. If you want dental coverage or a vision plan, those are all separate. And so sometimes those costs add up when you're doing everything a la carte like that. And the third reason why people don't always like Medicare supplements is because those extra benefits aren't included. So if you like the transportation to and from doctors or you like the allowances that, are, that, give you, that they give you to do um, cough medicine and pain medicine and vitamins, those things are not included on a supplement. Some people, that's a drawback for some people. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit better the pros and cons of supplements, and I hope you, you can choose which one is right for you. If you would like more information or you'd like a free, no obligation consultation, just contact us.